This is Nick from ViaEngines.com. This is a new product for 2020. I've been developing for some years. It solves a lot of problems. It's a manually operated choke lever for the Via 12, but it's 1.5 meters long, which is a lot longer than the previous versions. Now I've had this precision machined and I'll show you what's involved to change it over. You can do this yourself. Um, the part is on my website and uh, if, uh, if you just bear with me, I'll, I'll show you what's involved. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this out and put the original electric unreliable choke back in. So it's as simple as this. There's your original electric choke. These are no longer made. I can't get anything compatible. They used to be made in uh, Sweden, a company called Trefa that has been bought out. And the windings burn out. They use a lot of electricity. And there's another major disadvantage with this electric starting choke, which is if you have a flat battery, how do you start the engine? Now, you'll be pull starting it if you have the cord attached, but you can't get the choke on without 12 volts. Your only opportunity would be to put a screwdriver in and take the um, the idle jet, unscrew it anti-clockwise about a turn. But I wouldn't recommend that. You might forget to do it. So if you've got the original engine, and I do find that these sometimes um, foul the plugs because the choke is unreliable and stays on, um, you need a 17mm spanner to, after you've pulled off the electrical connection. So to do this job, we'll go through it now. First thing is, take out your old choke. Uh, you need a 17mm spanner. And that should just come out easy. Okay, now you're going to save uh, two parts off of this, which is the spring and the collar. You'll get a new tip with the kit. You'll see this tip is absolutely perfect. Um, but it, when they get worn, they don't seal properly. And that allows fuel to be going into the engine when the choke is supposed to be off. It's an over-rich, badly atomized mixture. Fouls the spark plug and causes unreliability. So you will get a new Bing tip with my starting uh, manual adapter. Uh, this one is good, but I often see them bad. So what we'll do is we'll put that to one side. And uh, we'll go over to the bench. I'll show you what we get. Okay, so here we are on the bench. Now this is what I'm sending you guys. This is my 1.5 meter long cable, which has got uh, a lever to operate the choke. And you can lock it on. Um, I suggest you grease this every year um, it comes pre-greased now before we set this up i've got it held in the vice here just so you can see what's going on we're going to take your old solenoid and we're going to salvage the two parts that we need so what you do is you've got a spring here to compress if you if you grab the thing in your hand and use your four finger and thumb to pull this back you can take the tip out see I've compressed the spring and now the tip comes off and don't let this go too quickly you want that collar and that spring okay if you lose it the spring is about 7 mil diameter by 28 now I'll zoom in on my part here okay now this is already preset and calibrated by me before it goes out so that the cable extends 21 to 20, 31 millimeters after you've adjusted it. So all that's necessary is first of all you take your spring and you insert your spring. Let's just get this lined up a bit better over the cable and into the hole like so and then you use your bush 
push the spring down. If you can tease the cable out, that helps. So here we go, pull the cable out, slip on the spring, push the bush down till you've compressed it. And you can see there the tip. And then you get your new tip, which I've given you. You can lace that in and then slowly release the bush and you are finished. Now what I do find is that uh, to make life easy, although this comes pre-adjusted, if you want to make that spring easy to compress, just undo the lock nut, wind the brass down the adjuster, and then it's much easier for you to adjust this um, to compress the spring and get this assembled. And then after you've assembled it, put this back and what you want to try to do is to have this so that when the choke is off it's just a little bit of slack after you've screwed this into the carburetor but if you want the measurement what you find is the top of this shoulder wants to be between 31 millimeters to the to the tip that's right and then when the choke comes on so when you operate it, it squashes down to 21 millimeters. So there's a 10 millimeter movement there. Starts at 31 mil. So if you've adjusted this lock nut, that's where you want to get it back to. So I need to just put this exactly 31 mil, which it is now to the top of this shoulder, and then put our lock nut on. That is how you assemble it. So I'm sorry that I can't supply this reassemble, but at the moment I can't get the new springs and identical collars. There's no reason you shouldn't reuse your own. So that's all assembled. You can see now when I pull the choke on, it retracts the um, starting tips piston 10 millimeters, And you can also lock this so that that would lock it with the choke on. So that's all set up, ready to install. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to pause this and we're going to go back to the engine and fit it. Okay, so we're back on the engine. Basically now, instead of a 17mm spanner, you will now need a 13 which is easy enough to find. So screw your adapter into the carburetor You'll find you don't need to take off or loosen the car because I've had it machined specially. Okay, and then what you want to do is just make sure that the cable, when this operates, is slightly slack. I'll adjust it so it is so. And that's working fine. So that's perfect. And then we'll just tighten that up. Job done. So now we have our manual choke fitted. Obviously you'd pass this through a bulkhead. There's also a bracket if you just want to screw it on somewhere and have it sticking out like bare. Or what I would suggest you do is if you have the original via control unit um, which had a, a, a choke button is you can take that choke button out and instead pass the cable through so that you've got the choke ready to operate on the same control panel instead of the switch that you used to press so what I say is it's simple enough to install and it solves the problem of not being able to start your engine with a flat battery and it's a lot more reliable um, especially if the battery is a bit low on voltage the original electric one wouldn't work properly and uh, it used to stick
which meant you'd be turning the battery, turning the engine over, flattening your battery, you didn't know if that choke piston was being pulled out or not. With this, you know. There's no doubt and uh, no electricity involved. It's purely mechanical. So I would consider this an upgrade. As I say, it's 2020. It's available on viaengines.com. Thank you.